Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can get advanced boot option back on Windows 10. For this video demonstration I'm using Hyper-V Manager, Windows 10 virtual machine as we can see here. To enable the advanced boot menu option at the startup, first we need to open elevated command prompt by simply right clicking on start menu, command prompt admin, yes. And then simply typing this command. I will add this command to this video description and then press enter. As we can see the operation completed successfully. If you want to disable the advanced boot option simply instead of yes we say no. Since we want to enable the advanced boot option we say yes. And the operation completed successfully. All right let's go ahead restart. And as we can see it's restarting right now, we need to press F8 in order to get to advanced boot option. Alright, it will get to this window and then press F8. And as we can see this is the advanced boot option in Windows 10. Press a number to choose from the options below. We have 129 or press enter to return to your operating system. As we can see number one enable the debugging. The debugging mode option enables debug mode in Windows. It is an advanced diagnostic mode where the data about Windows can be sent to the connected debugger. Number two enable boot logging. This option will keep a log of drivers being loaded during the Windows boot process. So when the system fails to start we can check this log document and see which device drivers causing this problem. Enable low resolution video which is 640 by 480 basically this is for installing graphic card video adapter or let's say the screen resolution changed and the monitor doesn't support it so we can simply choose this option and then change the screen resolution back to the settings that the monitor can support and number four enable safe mode basically windows will load the necessary device drivers necessary services for the operating system so hopefully windows can boot up so we can do the diagnostic troubleshooting if we tried the safe mode option and windows didn't boot up even using the safe mode option most likely the operating system is corrupted and we might need to back up the data and perform cleaning installation Choosing the safe mode with networking will also enable the network capability and safe mode with command prompt basically the same as safe mode but it actually loads the command prompt as a user interface. Rule of thumb it's better first to use safe mode and then if the safe mode didn't work try the safe mode with command prompt so we can go to command prompt and then use the command lines to troubleshoot the system. And number seven, disable driver signature enforcement basically allows drivers that are not digitally signed to be installed in Windows. So the system can start those device drivers. And speaking about digitally signed, it's basically by Microsoft or publishers device drivers has been signed and Microsoft has been tested the device and the device will work with the operating system. It is compatible with the operating system. And option number eight, disable early launch anti-malware protection will basically disable this anti-malware which scans the device driver that has been affected with malicious softwares will block those device drivers from loading. By disabling this will basically allow all the device drivers to load. And number 9, disable automatic restart on system failure stops Windows from restarting when we get the blue screen. So when we can see the hex code and research based on the hex code we get during the blue screen. And finally press enter to return to your operating system. I'm going to go ahead press enter. Alright as we can see Windows 10 is up. Now let's say you want to disable the advanced boot option in Windows 10. So simply right click start menu, open command prompt, make sure with the admin, this is basically elevated command prompt. 
it will load command prompt using the administrative privilege. All right, let's go ahead, type the command, and this time we say no. Enter, the operation completed successfully. So what we did, we disabled the advanced boot option. So right now when we restart, the F8 doesn't work anymore to see the advanced boot option menu. This was an example of enabling and disabling advanced boot option on Windows 10. If you liked it, please press the like button. If you find it helpful and loved it, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.